The surveillance video shows Valerie Rushing walk into the TNS Food Mart on West 45th Street in November of 2011. Where's Sharika? Looking for her daughter, Sharika Wilson. When Wilson walks towards her mother, you can see Rushing attack her. She said that mm -hmm. she had planned to kill Sharika, or she at least told Sharika that she was going to kill her. Wilson's attorney, Rhonda Peoples Waters, is using the Stand Your Ground defense, claiming her client shot her own mother in self defense. This chilling video shows the moments leading up to the shooting and as it happens. Oh, no! Wilson grabs a gun. No! Rushing walks towards her. There's a brief scuffle, and <laughs> Rushing was shot in the neck and survived. She later requested that the state drop all charges against her daughter, admitting she went to the north side to her job, this convenience store, to seriously harm Wilson. The state said no. The use of force was necessary because she felt her own life was threatened. A push to tweak the Stand Your Ground law has been approved by two Senate committees. The proposed changes include shifting the burden of proof from the defense to the prosecution, clarifying immunity, and who can use the Stand Your Ground defense. If it is applied um, fairly and correctly according to the written law, it can benefit everybody. We have to make sure that we work hard collectively as a community so that um, there's not any particular group or party or, or a certain group of defendants that are not receiving the entitlement of the law.